Jared Poland, Photo.com, and this is your, you're kidding me, Photo News Fix. This fix is brought to you by Data Color, who's celebrating 50 years of innovating color excellence. Now, if my math is correct, that means that they were founded in 1970. It's all right. Yeah, that's correct. In recognition of their 50th anniversary, Data Color is offering the Spider X Photo Kit, which normally sells for $400 for only $199 while supplies last. In the kit, you will find the Spider X Elite, Spider Cube, and Spider Checker 24, which has saved my ass many times in the studio. Oh yeah, and it comes in this fancy case. For more information and to pick up this kit, head on over to datacolor.com slash Bro. First up, guess who's back in the news? Back again. Kodak. Yep, Kodak shares soared as much as 60% in early trading on news that the CEO's options were not illegal. For those of you who are new to this ongoing saga, here is a quick recap. A few months back, Kodak was awarded a $765 million government loan to start making pharmaceuticals. Drugs. Of all things. Their stock went from $2 to $60, but calls of insider training were brought up almost immediately, and the loan was put on hold, and the stock tanked back down to $5. Kodak then promised an internal investigation, and now that investigation has been completed. According to Bloomberg, the review, and remember Kodak hired these people to do the review, by the way, don't forget that fact throughout this entire story, the review found that the company's general counsel didn't properly brief the board on legal risks of providing the grants to Jim Continenza, who received the grants the day before the positive corporate news. One job. You f Kodak lawyers had one job and you failed to see the potential for issues when you grant millions of dollars worth of shares the day before a massive announcement? I call bullshit. Or you knew exactly what you were doing and knew you weren't technically breaking the law, so you approved the move anyway. According to the lawyers, don't forget they were hired by Kodak, at Atkins Gump, stupid is, stupid does. Strauss, Hauer, and Feld LLP, all who were not at my bar mitzvah, by the way. What's that supposed to mean? The manner in which the option grants were awarded was suboptimal in a number of respects. They went on to say that Kodak's conduct didn't violate the law, but they are still under investigation by the SEC as well as Congress. Wait, it gets even better. Kodak CEO Jim Continenza said, Kodak is committed to the highest levels of governance and transparency, and it is clear from the review's finding, by the way, the review, uh, Jim hired them, from the review's findings that we need to take action to strengthen our practices, policies, and procedures. Duh. Right, so that's typical corporate bullshit. Get caught doing something shady, conduct a sham review to show that you care, to find out that you didn't break the law, but then announce you feel terrible and will do better next time. All while you just got... Yep. Next up, GoPro has in fact released their Hero 9 action camera that's now slightly bigger with new Hyper Smooth 3.0, 5K recording, 4K 60, and 1080 240 slow motion with a 1.4 inch front facing LCD screen, a larger 2.27 inch rear touchscreen, all with 30% better battery life for $450 or $350 if you purchase a one year subscription to GoPro for $50, which they are basically saying you should buy because it's a no brainer to end up saving 50 bucks. Will we be buying one of these since we're still using the GoPro Hero 5? Nah, probably not. But you know what I do wanna buy? This, the Canon PowerShot Zoom. I mean, look how happy this guy looks to be using it. I mean, come on, he's so cool. I mean, who doesn't keep their other eye open while looking through something that has a single viewfinder? So what is this odd looking camera and did you have to kill the Monopoly man and steal his monocle in order to make it? That was a good joke, leave me alone. Do not pass go. That was a good joke, that was a good joke. Do not collect $200. The PowerShot Zoom is meant to be used with one hand. I'm used to using things with one hand. Weighs in at 5.1 ounces or 145 grams, has a 12.1 megapixel sensor with a Digic 8 processor, captures 1080 HD video, has image stabilization built in along with a 100 to 400 millimeter equivalent zoom range. So in theory, it's like a modern day binocular. 
that drops the by and becomes a monocular. Sure. But the best part about this camera is the amazing promo video that Canon released. Wow, this kid is blown away by what he sees. And I'm blown away by how bad that goalie is. I mean, he's out of position for one and he's shying away from the ball and basically he looks like he's never had balls flying at his face before. He's like, eh. Stay away from me, ball. Shoe ball, stay away. I want balls in my face. That's what goalies want. In or out. Dan, freeze the video at 35 seconds, please. You know exactly what he's looking at in there. Now let's jump to 56 seconds into the video where we see a woman looking creepily through the camera. I know exactly what she's looking at. I'd stare at that guy all day long too. Now, now I know I'm not supposed to say it, but I have no idea what that kid's doing after he kicks the ball. But what the hell is that kid doing with the hop turn thing after he kicks the ball? He's like, kick, hop. I don't know what he's doing. And finally, we see a woman waving. What is she waving at? Oh, the mountains. Why is she waving at the mountains? Cocaine is a hell of a drug. I think you get the point. The video is just pure weird. The other weird thing is, it's only available in Japan. Truth be told, I could actually see myself using this if the stabilization is any good, and I wouldn't really care about the photos or the video, but that is a nice little bonus, because I'm pretty blind. Kitty kitty and have trouble seeing things at a distance. It's a kitten. And something this small might help me when my eyes fail me. That's a jumbo size sewer rat. Currently it's selling for around $300 in Japan, but maybe after making this video, Canon might send me one. Hey Canon, back that truck up. Next up, Nikon has finally done it. It's unauthorized clickbait. They've completed their Salty. Hebrew Trinity of lenses with the announcement of the 14 to 24 2.8 S. Nikon claims that this is the world's shortest and lightest full frame 2.8 zoom lens with a 14 millimeter field of view. Do you know what it's not? Whoa! Yeah, a 12 to 24 2.8 that Sony put out months ago. Now the reason I bring up the Sony is that Nikon made such a big deal about how big their Z holes are that other companies have such smaller holes and they can't compete. Well Nikon, where's the beef? Oh, phone call. Hello? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's Madeline K. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she's pissed. Yeah, yeah. She wants me to stop saying, yeah, yeah, she wants me to yeah. stop talking about Z holes or else. Or else what, Madeline? What, what? No, I do have to give Nikon props for being able to shrink down this lens to such a place where it can take screw-on filters. There are 112 millimeter screw-on filters, but at least it takes them. I have no doubt in my mind that this is going to be an amazing lens for photojournalists, landscape photographers, as well as astrophotographers. Now, it should be available in November. I say should because we don't know what Nikon's able to hit at this point for $2,400. And guess what? I'll not be buying one. Why? Because I already have a Sony 12 to 24 2.8. Thanks, Sony. On top of the 14 to 24, they also announced a 50 millimeter f 1.2 S lens that they promise will deliver unrivaled sharpness, speed, and lifelike clarity. Now, I don't deny that at all. We all know Nikon creates some of the best glass around, and this lens will be no exception. This 2.4 pound or 1,090 gram lens measures in at a whopping six inches in length. Again? Hello? It's yeah. Madeline Kay again. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I know it's bigger than yeah. me. Thank you for reminding me, Madeline. Since this is a heavy lens, Nikon has implemented not one, but two uh, uh, STM uh. motors to help speed up the focus. Though with the way that the Z system focuses, I'm not sure it's going to matter anyway. I kid, I kid, I kid. Actually, I don't kid. Now there's no release date just yet for this bad boy, but when it does come out, it will set you back $2,100, which is $100 less than the sale price of Canon's RF50 1.2. Will you be picking one up? Because I won't. I do hope Nikon sends me one to play with though. Oh snap, it's the OG I shoot raw shirt. You wanna get one? Go to store.fronosphoto.com. And finally, Sony has unveiled the world's smallest, lightest, full-frame camera. Wait, wait, I, I thought that was a Sigma FP. Oh, oh, right, that's the smallest and lightest, but Sony's claim continues to say, 
the world's smallest and lightest full frame camera with in body stabilization. Ah, yes, semantics. It's very clever. So, what did they create? Basically, they created a sort of smaller version of the A7 III, which, in my opinion, is the best modern day mirrorless camera ever made. The truth is, it's not really that much smaller. It's just not, just look at it. They did away with the classic viewfinder in favor of the smallest, most impossible to see, offset to the left, EVF that I cannot stand. And being left eye dominant means I hate the viewfinder placement even more. You know who won't be buying this camera? Ned Flanders. So what else doesn't this camera have? Well, it doesn't have two card slots, it doesn't have a front finger command dial, it doesn't have a big enough grip, and it doesn't have my money. On the flip side, the image quality is the exact same as the a7 III, which is fantastic. The autofocus and lock-on tracking kick ass, and at the end of the day, if this was the only camera I had access to, I would make it work. Wouldn't be happy about it, but I certainly would make it work. What I won't make work is its $1,800 price point. To check out my full 30-minute preview of this camera, just go ahead and look for that link down below. And there you have it. That's your photo news fix this time around. To check out the last fix, go ahead and click on the screen right here. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And that's where I'm gonna leave it. Jared Polinfronosphoto.com. See ya.